Ha! Rabba Baba Soto Rataya Tata. Zabarabati Arabata. Zabababa. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bang, bang, people of God. It's good to see you all. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. Praise the Lord. Am I sweating here a little bit? Yes. Always anointed sweat. Well, people of God, it's Dr. Ben Lim here. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. Shabbat Shalom. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to be here in the wonderful, great state of Texas in the wonderful city of Dallas. And I want to minister prophetically over you. It is Friday, it is Shabbat. So it's a time where we're entering into rest and celebration. And of course, even as we're coming into Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, there is a remembrance anointing, a coming back to remembrance, re returning a first love, a restoration back to the beginning, amen, back to the future, <laughs> bang, bang. So there is a remembrance anointing. And I really believe that the Lord's causing us to remember his goodness. Uh, there's a rest and a reset and there's a reclamation. Like I really believe that we are stepping into a realm and a season of reclaiming uh, exactly what the enemy stolen from us in the past seasons. And of course, uh, Andy Moreno just said, the devil will not have the month of June. Of course, uh, the enemy has tried to mandate and declare that June is the month of pride. But truly, uh, it's a month of humility and it's a month of harvest. It's a month where God is going to be seated on the throne and we're gonna see miracle signs and wonders like never before, amen? And my hair is kind of crazy. I don't know what to do with my hair, first and foremost. I think I need to cut it again. But today, as we're stepping into Shabbat and Memorial Day weekend, there's a rest, a restoration, a reclamation, uh, coming back to first love. And I really believe that God is releasing breakthrough like never before. So let me know where you're watching from. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to be ministering today and this whole weekend. Hallelujah. And I'm excited to bring the word of the Lord to this beautiful city and region in Dallas, Texas. Amen. Somebody say bang, bang. That's right. Give us some hearts and likes. Shakaraba. Come on. I want you to pray in the spirit as you're joining, as you're jumping on, because I do feel such fire and such a prophetic unction, really a bubbling up anointing to prophesy and to release the Nabi flow, the Nabi grace of God. Because God's doing something. Uh, the tide has changed. Things have turned. Of course, the last time I went on live here just a few days ago, I prophesied about the tide is turning and that it's your turn for a turnaround. And I ministered that uh, on this earlier Tuesday. But things are shifting and I believe the winds of change are being released. And who feels a difference in the spirit? Like you feel the revival anointing. We're stepping into a summer of revival and a summer of miracles. It's really a summer of love, summer of revival, summer of miracles. And uh, so June, July, August, it's going to be go time, mega harvest. And of course, after August, you step into Rosh Hashanah, the high holy days, the Feast of Tabernacles, Yom Kippur, the fall feasts of the Jewish holiday, and then we go into the new year, 5785. So I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a shift. I'm feeling, uh, you know, breakthrough in the air, breakthrough in the atmosphere. And I'm sure many of you, if you're spiritual and sensitive like I am, you've been feeling this weird warfare, this tiredness, Arabasha, this heaviness over the last two, three weeks, but God has broken that off. And now there's fresh winds that are blowing and God's doing a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Do you not perceive it for it springs forth, it springs forth. And it's a springing up anointing. I want to say I'm springing forward. It's a springing up anointing, a springing forward anointing. And truly God's doing a new thing. So I feel the fire of God. So as you're connecting, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Uh, let's continue to build up the room and the atmosphere. 
I want to minister prophetically over you because I do feel fire. I do feel the bubbling up anointing. Oh, even now I feel the wheels turning, the wheel within the wheel, the realm of creativity. Amen. The creative miracles are flowing. God's about to do a new thing in your life. So I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give some hearts and likes. Let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out in this moment. Praise the Lord. That's right. Anthony Moreno. I'm springing forward today. I feel focused. Amen. Yeah, there's, it's like the fogginess. The, it's like the fogginess, the confusion, the heaviness is broken. And now there's a laser sharp focus, a reset. Can I get an amen? Arabo that's right, Kim Padilla. Hallelujah. Prophetess Ivana Temecula. Mary, you need to come out to our June 10th miracle night, okay? Uh, Martha, hello there. Shalom to you. Amen, Demetrius. Uh, Boston. All right. God bless you, Mike. Oh, is that Dr. Mike? I've been wondering how you and uh, uh, Martha Ma Magdalena have been doing. Jake, Glendale, Arizona. I'll be in Arizona next week. I hope to see you. Lori Wilson, Alaska. God bless. I was planning to go to Alaska this year, but I canceled, which I'm not too happy about, but it is well. Glory, glory. Lisa Cruz, yes, Martha Winters, Dustin King, I need a miracle breakthrough in my body, Adrian, Michigan, fire on you in the mighty name of Jesus, Jaina Jacobs, glory be to God, amen, happy to hear that, Mary. Hi there, Sandra, I'm going to be back in Singapore in August, can't wait to see you all, we're bringing Steve Swanson, hi, CC, bless you, yeah, major shift, Torrance, God bless, South Africa, we got our sofas in the house. Glory be to God. Well, like I said, friends, um, I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and it is Memorial Day weekend. And I want you to remember this. Um, Memorial Day weekend, of course, is a day in the United States where we remember and we honor. I want to say honor. Where we remember and we honor our veterans, um, those that have been slain in battle to fight for our freedoms. Remember, we are the land of the free because of the home of the brave. And there is a, a doubling mantle of honor that's coming to the body of Christ. And I really believe that this weekend, as we choose to remember and as we step into that remembrance anointing, I want to say remember, as we step into the remembrance anointing, there's a reset and a release and there is... Uh, a double honor that's being released. And I believe even now the Lord wants to encourage us because all throughout the Bible, all throughout Re Kasoto, the Old Testament, the Lord says, remember what I did as I delivered you from Egypt. Remember what I did as I split the Red Sea in two. Remember what I did. So first and foremost, we want to honor all of our military veterans and all of our service workers. We want to say, God bless you. May the Lord protect you and preserve you with long life and health and preservation in Jesus' name. So as we're stepping into this remembrance anointing, there's a realm of double honor. There's a realm of reset and release. And who here feels a shift, amen? There's a shift in the spirit. And it's like, you know, we've been battling and warring for the last two, three weeks. And all of a sudden, suddenly it broke and it lifted. And now there's a mantle of honor, as I prophesied on Tuesday, the mantle of turnaround. God's turning things around. If you believe and feel that, say amen. Well, here I am. I'm in Texas. And I'm in Texas. And there's a storm coming in North Texas. And I guess hails are falling forth. And, you know, these are saying it's going to be like three inches in size of hail. So big, massive hail balls. <laughs> that are falling from the sky. And of course, people are saying it's weather modified. Uh, shot, man, I feel the fire of God. Listen, y'all got to pray right now. I feel the fire of, I can't even talk. I'm getting hit with fire and glory because there's major turnaround, major breakthrough being released. And even as we're connected in this broadcast, I don't know where all of our viewers are. All right, we're still stuck at 55. Maybe Facebook meta changed the algorithms again because President Trump had a massive breakthrough rally yesterday in Bronx, New York. 
Amen. Come on, AOC. All right. Uh, Senior Ruben called out AOC as a false prophet. Bang, bang. The, listen, false prophets are being judged right now. I could see it right now. The false prophetic spirit of Jezebel is being judged in the name of Jesus. I could feel the fire. I could feel that judgment, that revival fire, that revival rain, that revival glory. And winds of change, winds of breakthrough, sudden turnarounds. Sudden turnarounds are coming forth. And man, I could feel such fire. I can't even talk. I can't even preach right now. I can't even minister. I'm just getting hit and drunk in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say amen. <sighs> but listen, real quick, I'm not going to be long today because honestly, I'm getting hit with the Holy Ghost. So I'm not going to be long today. So I pray every single person that's connected with me on this broadcast, you'll be blessed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Somebody say amen. Listen, I have this word here. My gosh, like I just said, I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and the weather reports are saying that there's supposed to be a hailstorm coming in North Texas, a massive hailstorm. And um, I guess there was supposed to be hail here in Dallas region as well. But who here knows there's demonic winds and then there's Holy Spirit winds. All right, the Bible says his angels are winds and flames of fire. My gosh, I feel the Lord. His demonic, there's demonic winds or demonic angels that are trying to blow your house down, that are trying to release warfare, that are trying to release witchcraft, but your house will remain. Your house will stand tall. Your house will be strong in the Lord. Jesus. Rabba Sotoro Blata. And then there's winds of change, winds of God angels of the Lord that are for you, that will protect you, that will preserve and reserve you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Listen, lift up your hand. I just feel downloads right now. There's downloads of innovation and creativity. There's ideas. And earlier this morning, I mean, I've been working for about two, three hours on the laptop but there's downloads of innovation, breakthrough ideas, common breakthrough ideas. There's breakthrough ideas, downloads of innovation, wealth creation. You know, as we're stepping into the second half of 2024, and I'm going to minister prophetically on this probably next week. But as we're stepping into the second half of 2024, we're going to see the latter rain. We're going to see the latter glory. The glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. So there is a ramping up, a gearing up, Pentecostal harvest, glory, miracle signs and wonders, a tsunami wave of revival that cannot be stopped nor shut in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say amen. Huh. And even now, even as a bow and arrow or a rubber band is pulled back, the Lord's about to launch you and release you with fresh fire, with fresh miracle working power. Because we're stepping into a three month season of the summer of revival, summer of miracle signs and wonders. Amen. Shakarabata. And after the summer of revival, we're going to step into the fall feasts of the 10 days of awe, stepping into the new Hebrew year. So you need to realize this, and I'm just speaking prophetically right now, in the flow of God right now, but we are literally three, four months away from ending 5784, the Hebrew year. We are three, four months, come on somebody, someone said preach Dr. Ben, we're three, four months away from ending 5784 which is the year of Psalm 84 or correlated with the Greek year 2024, Psalm 24. So as we're coming to the last quarter of 5784, God's going to move in miracle signs and wonders, bang, bang, and outpouring of the Spirit of God like never before. Jesus. Amen. Somebody say amen. All right, let's go back to this word. Ephesians 4, 14 to 15. Jesus, I want you to say crossover. You're crossing over. 
You're crossing over into the promised land, the land of milk and honey, prosperity, abundance, overflow, breakthrough. You've broken through and you're stepping into the promised land. Ephesians 4, 14 to 15. That we may no longer be children ah, tossed to and fro, thank you, Lord, by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine. By human cunning, by craftiness, in deceitful schemes. Come on, someone say preach, Dr. Ben. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things, say all things, grow up, say grow up into Christ himself, who is the head. Someone say amen. So listen, I believe right now, even as Apostle Paul is speaking to the Ephesians church, and of course, this really is about the fivefold ministry, the graces of God. Someone say grace. Greater grace is coming to you. Amen. And of course, this chapter and this portion of passage is about maturing into the head. And so right now, the Lord is causing you to grow up. You're going to grow up, you're going to show up, and you're going to go up. Amen. Bang, bang. And so many of us in the last season, the last month, it's like we've been feeling tossed to and fro. Like a salad, you tossed a salad. Like a rag doll, you tossed a rag doll. So many of us, it's like we've been feeling tossed to and fro. There's been a wavering, a shaking, an unsettling. It's like imagine when you're on a boat. You know me, I like to go fishing. So when I'm on a fishing boat and there's a wave, right? It's like you're being tossed to this side, to this side. And it's like many of us, there's been waves and winds of doctrine. And here, Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 4, by human cunningness, craftiness, and deceitful schemes. Cunningness, deceitful schemes, craftiness, which is witchcraft, manipulation, heaviness, the indoctrination of demons. And so many of us, we've been acting like children all over the place. Come on, somebody, even for me. Listen, I was a little emotional and feeling heavy, revy, and not feeling too good, and, you know, just praying, and, you know, rakasa, just pressing deeper into the Lord. But, uh, the Lord's bringing a settling. I want to declare over you right now, the storm is about to settle. The dust is about to settle. The tossing to and fro is about to come to a halt. And we're stepping into a realm where God's saying, you're going to grow up by the grace of God. No more winds of doctrines. No more waves of speculation. You're no longer going to be messed with, tossed to and fro. Come on, there's a testing. And the Lord says, you've graduated. Even as we just passed graduation season, many people have graduated. You've graduated into a greater realm of glory. If you believe that, say amen. You've upgraded, you've matured, you've grown up. And here the Bible says, grow up into Christ himself who's the head. Ah, no longer are you the tail, but you're the head. You've been feeling like below. You've been feeling like you've been the bottom. You've been feeling like you've been down below, but God has delivered you from Sheol. And he's lifted you and raised you by the Holy Ghost, by the winds of God, by the winds of the Holy Spirit, by the angels of the Lord. They will not allow even your foot to be dashed against a stone. And his angels, his chosen vessels are lifting you, are carrying you into the next level realm and dimension. Who feels that? Who believes that? Amen. I want to say no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So... This is a, a moment, a season around for you to grow up into the headship of Christ. Now, headship speaks of authority. It speaks of maturity. It speaks of leadership. It speaks of kingship. It speaks of your identity. Come on, somebody. It speaks of who you are. Of course, Jesus is the head. But the Bible also says you're the head and not the tail. Headship stands for leadership. So there is a breaking forth, a breaking through and into a new level of leadership, a new mantle of headship and kingship. Somebody say amen. Raka Soto. You're growing up, my friends. 
So listen, three things I want to declare over you right now. Number one, every witchcraft is broken. Every spirit of witchcraft and backlash is broken in the name of Jesus. Number two, you will no longer be tossed to and fro and shaken. My friends, we've been all over the map spiritually, emotionally, mentally the last few weeks. It's because he's gearing us up for promotion and for another level. And number three, the third thing is that you're growing up in maturity and promotion. A greater authority, a greater understanding. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Does anybody relate with the man of God right now? With this prophetic broadcast impartation right now? I just saw wings expanding. And the Lord is going to cause you to soar. I just saw two wings right behind you. Actually, right behind me on this broadcast. And then the Lord said, there's going to be a realm of elevation, change, swiftness. It will no longer be delayed. The backlash, the heaviness, the warfare, the delay, it will no longer remain in your life. Amen. But, but there's going to be wings manifesting for you to soar. My gosh. Somebody say, preach Dr. Ben. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Rabba, Baba, thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Isaiah 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings with eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not grow faint. If you receive that, say amen. That's for you. You've been waiting. You've been pressed, tested. You've even doubted. You've even questioned. You've cried, you've complained, you've been in the flesh like little children tossed to and fro. Jesus. But now the Lord's causing you to arise and shine, to be lifted up on wings of eagles, on new strength. And you will run and you will walk and you will not grow weary nor faint. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Listen, people of God, I really don't have anything more to say. <laughs> bang, bang. I'm just here to declare over you that you are in a new realm of breakthrough and change. The old has passed, the new has come. And there's fresh winds and wings. My gosh. Who feels that lifting? Who feels that increase? It's breaking. That heaviness is broken over your life, over your mind, over your head. That spirit of wanting to give up, it's a, it's a spirit of failure. It's a lying spirit that you're not good enough. There it is. It's a lying spirit that has tried to cause you to compromise Jesus. The devil is a liar. Jesus. Somebody said, I'm receiving my new wings. New height, new vision, new speed. Jesus, I'm telling you the next six months, the next three months and the next six months are going to be out of this world. The next three months, my friends, which is the last quarter of 5784, 
before Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of Oz, Feast of Tabernacles. The, so the next three months and the next six months, bang, bang, it's going to be gangbusters. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be wild. The Lord is shutting doors and he's opening doors. He's speeding things up. There's an increase of revival. The fire of God, the fear of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, lift up your hands. I just saw a net of harvest. And there's a harvest anointing coming. Where the Lord says, it's a compounded compensation recompense harvest. What's been delayed will be released in full recompense. What's been held back and withheld will be released to you in a greater measure, my gosh, that you could have ever dreamed, imagined, believed. Thank you, Lord. Listen, I want to declare, I want to declare my gosh, hear me now. Hear me now. We are one week away from ending May and from stepping into June. We're one week away. And I want to declare this week, there's going to be a setup of downloads, divine appointments, determination. Jesus. He's turning things around. And in this week, you're going to begin to see a new lineup, a new release, a new setup. You're going to begin to see the crooked paths made straight. I said the crooked paths will be made straight. Ah. There's a straightening, correction, anointing. It's called the order of God, the order of heaven. And remember, before the Lord returns, he sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of the Lord. Every high place will be brought low. Every low place will be raised up. So that's what God's doing. My gosh. Someone say, preach Dr. Ben. That's what the Lord's doing. He is bringing low the high and raising up the low. And he's evening things out for the coming of the next wave of revival and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Rebe so toro do do. Every pothole of your heart. Wow. Every pothole of your life. <laughs> Every pothole of your schedule, of your vision. Every pothole will be filled. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's time to work, my friend. It's time to go back to work. I just saw a construction hat, like a workman's hat, like a white construction helmet, and the Lord says it's time to work. It's time to plow. It's time to go forth afresh. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to just pray to the Holy Ghost. I'm flowing in the spirit today, as I usually do, but there's even more so of an unusual prophetic release today. Because when I'm weak, he's strong. I honestly don't even have the full articulation of words, terminology, to describe the metamorphosis, the evolution, the evolving uh, transfiguration of what's going on right now. So as I'm flowing with you in the spirit on this live broadcast, it's like the terminology of the definition and clarity arises and is revealed. Are you, are you hearing me? So this is a corporate anointing because the prophetic oil flows. Thank you, Lord. 
as we press in and on in the glory. But there is an articulation of the anointing of the season we're in. An articulation, my gosh, of the realm we're stepping into. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has fathomed. The Lord's about to blow your mind. Listen, as I saw the harvest net and great harvest is coming, every delayed harvest is coming forth. Whatever's been withheld, held back, delayed is coming to you in recompense. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. I believe there's going to be debt cancellations, miracle money, miracles in, in your body, miracle opportunities. I want to declare over you, as we're stepping into the second half of 2024, there's going to be a major turnaround. So certain moments and opportunities that you felt was lost, taken, or stolen is going to return to you, come back to you in a greater measure. Remember in Ecclesiastes it says, cast your bread upon the waters and in due time it shall return to you. So we are in a returning moment. Remember I said in this Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, Memorial Day, which is next Monday, is the day where we honor and remember our veterans and our service workers of this country. Those that gave their lives willingly were serving and slain in battle and we remember. So this weekend, there is a remembrance returning anointing. And as you remember, There'll be a returning and a turning back of funds, finances, family members, moments, opportunities. Amen. A greater strengthening, a greater harvest. Amen. Someone say, I receive it. If you receive it, say, I receive it. The next six months, the next six months. The Lord's going to add on and multiply. <clears throat> the Lord's going to add on and multiply in your life the next six months. Mark these words, my friends. Amen. Mark these words. Uh, the next three months and the next six months. Is going to be filled with miracle signs and wonders. Next three months, next six months. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A whole new metron, a whole new sphere, a whole new realm, a whole new definition. Jesus. Lift up your ancient gates. Lift up your ancient doors. <laughs> For who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty in battle. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty in battle. A greater lifting up. A greater lifting up. Amen. People of God, it's Dr. Benlam. I'm undone. I'm blessed. That's about all I have today. I'm just so wrecked in the glory, and I'm glad you could join me. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I'll be ministering tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and Sunday. I got four sessions over the next three days here in Grand Prairie, Dallas, Texas. I love you. Shabbat Shalom. Once again, we love and we honor all of our veterans here in the United States. We are the home of the free we are the land of the free because of the home of the brave. And so we honor all of our military men and women 
And it's a mystery how you could serve such a commanding thief in office. And you could serve transgender generals and lieutenants. The devil is a liar. But we honor you. We love you. We stand with you. We pray with you. And uh, thank you, Jesus. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. This is Dr. Pastor Benlam. I love you. Make sure you share. Make sure you follow, you subscribe. Shabbat Shalom. Happy Friday. I'll see you soon.